Hey everyone, it's time for our monthly deep dive. This month, we will take a look at password policies in Firebase Authentication. If you're not familiar, password policies are a set of rules that define requirements for acceptable passwords for your application. These rules help ensure that users create stronger, harder to guess passwords, which in turn helps protect their accounts from unauthorized access. The requirements can be used to enforce whether or not the password contains an uppercase character, a lowercase character, a non-alphanumeric character, otherwise known as a special character, and a numeric character. Additionally, you can modify the minimum length the password has, which can be anywhere from six to 30 characters. You can also set the maximum length of a password up to 4,096 characters. If you have a password that long, I really hope you're using a password manager to help remember it. Remember, the more variants and characters you have in your password, and the longer your password is, the more entropy is generated into the resulting password, making it harder for attackers to guess. To set up your password policy, visit the Firebase console and click on the Authentication tab. Once there, visit the Sign In Method tab to ensure you have the email password sign in enabled. Remember, you will not be able to set password policies for federated providers like Google, Facebook, GitHub, and so on. This happens because they have their own policies in place and their sign-in controls are outside of Firebase's control. Once that is done, go to Settings tab and click on Password Policy. Here, you can then set the password policy to whatever you desire. We recommend setting the password policy to require enforcement to block new users from signing up with passwords that do not meet the policy but we also recommend leaving the force upgrade on sign-in unchecked so existing users can still log in without requiring an update to their password. If you do want users to be forced to upgrade on sign-in, what you could do is wait for the error on sign-in and then send them a reset password email so they are forced to reset their password to meet the new policies. In my app, I've set all password strength options as required and changed the minimum length to 12 characters long. Once we have our password policy set in the console, we can set some code to enforce this. When a user tries to sign up with our application, we can check that their email and password is valid by using the validate password function to check their password against the stored password policy. We can then use the password validation status to check whether the password is valid. And if it's not valid, we can use the password validation status to update a warning for the user, letting them know what values they are missing from the password. Otherwise, we go ahead and create the user account as usual and sign the user in. If we do have force upgrade on sign in enabled, we can then check whether the error code contains password does not meet requirements. And if so, send the password reset email and show an error message to our user. There you have it. This is our deep dive look into password policies in Firebase. This feature for password requirements comes to us from User Voice, a place where you have an opportunity to influence future product decisions and get your voice heard by our product team. Go check out User Voice to make sure that your product ideas are heard and voted on. If you wanna learn even more about authentication in Firebase, please check out the documentation below and the fundamentals playlist here on our YouTube channel where we show you how to authenticate with different methods in all platforms we support. I am Noe, and I cannot wait to see what you secure next.